Hi! Welcome to Heal Richest YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 dangerous wrestlers in WWE of all time. So before starting this video make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel to join our family. WWE has been home to numerous tough and dangerous superstars throughout the company's history. Here's a look at the 10 most dangerous WWE wrestlers. One thing that people love to say when insulting professional wrestling is that it is fake, and the wrestlers are all play fighting. However, while it is often predetermined with scripted storylines and endings, there is nothing fake about throwing your body around the ring. These are real athletes. Furthermore, some of the best wrestlers in WWE history were legit tough guys. This was especially true for old school WWE, where many wrestlers were able to hold their own in fights. The stories of some of these WWE icons are legendary, and these wrestlers could hold their own against a fighter in any real athletic competition. Without further ado, here's a look at the 10 most dangerous wrestlers in WWE history. Number 10. Bad News Brown. Bad News Brown was a legit tough guy in WWE and didn't take flack from anybody. Chris Jericho has shared stories he heard about when it comes to Brown, including one where he stood up to Andre the Giant. The story, in that case, was that Andre made a racial comment, and Brown got in his face and didn't back down until Andre apologized. He was someone who fans believed was a real-life tough guy in the ring as well, a street fight brawler who took Rowdy, Roddy Piper to the limit. Number 9. Dr. Death, Steve Williams. When WWE brought in Dr. Death, Steve Williams in the 90s, they had big plans for the legit tough guy. When WWE developed the Brawl for All tournament, most people in the office felt that Williams would win a shoot fight tournament, considering he was believed to be the toughest of all the wrestlers involved. An injury ruined that, but Doc was a real tough guy, an All-American wrestler, and football star for the Oklahoma Sooners, before coming up in the rough and tough Mid-South wrestling. Number 8. Vader Big Ben Vader. Was someone who lesser wrestlers hated to face in the ring on a bad day, cut from the same mold as legends of wrestling, like Stan Hansen, maybe the toughest guy outside of WWE, and Bruiser Brody, Vader would go into the ring and just pound on his opponents, never letting up. He was a former offensive lineman in football, with a Super Bowl appearance, and got his start in Japan against Hansen, learning from the best, number 7. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is not someone who looks like a dangerous man, but he is someone who could beat just about anyone in a shoot fight, before Angle ever entered WWE, he was an Olympic gold medal winning amateur wrestler. Not only that, but Angle won the gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Number 6. Steve Blackman. When looking at dangerous professional wrestlers in WWE history, Steve Blackman is someone that fans of the Attitude Era will list near the top. Blackman was a competitive weightlifter before getting his start in wrestling. He trained with Stu Hart, who is known for breaking in wrestlers in harsh conditions it worked. Blackman holds the record for the longest run with the hardcore title, and he now works as a bail bondsman. Number 5. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley came into WWE with a great look and a lot of promise. He was already a disciplined wrestler, the son of a US Army drill sergeant. He was an amateur wrestler who was working toward a spot in the Olympics when an injury ended that opportunity. He proved his dangerous fighting skills after leaving WWE for the first time, moving to MMA and finishing with a 15-2 record, 6 wins by knockout and 6 by submission. Number 4. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is one of the most dangerous names in WWE, and he proved it many times over, he is an absolute beast and has always looked the part. Lesnar was a top star in college, an amateur wrestling champion who caught WWE's attention early on, he then moved on to WWE, where he dominated. Number 3. Dan Severn. Dan Severn came to WWE in the Attitude Era, following years as the NWA World Champion, however, forget about the NWA and look at where Severn got his big break, he was one of the UFC's top stars when the company first started, he was the first and only UFC Triple Crown Champion, winning the UFC Superfight Championship, Ultimate Ultimate Tournament, and a world title, his MMA record is an astonishing 101-197. Number 2. Ken Shamrock. When a man's professional wrestling nickname is, the world's most dangerous man, he will always rank on the list of most dangerous wrestlers in WWE history. 
Shamrock is another man who fought for UFC when the company first started and was a legit rival of Dan Severn at the time. Besides his time in WWE, Shamrock was 47-28 in MMA fighting and was the first UFC Superfight Champion and a UFC Hall of Fame fighter. Number 1. Haku. While he was not successful in UFC or MMA fighting, most wrestlers, who are asked will tell fans that the most dangerous man in professional wrestling was Haku. He didn't do too much in WWE, although he held the WWE Tag Team Championship with Andre the Giant. With that said, outside of the ring, everyone will say that if they were ever in a fight in a bar, Haku is who they want by their side. Comment below and let us know what do you think about our list. If this video was helpful, please like the video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.